Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we're talking about the differences between moral hazard and adverse selection because they're two things that tend to be sort of confusing. So I wanna make sure that we have it all straight in our heads. So first let's start with moral hazard. Moral hazard is asymmetric information, so is adverse selection. But moral hazard is more about action. So you can think of it as, are you a risky driver or a safe driver? Your insurance company doesn't know what type of driver you are. So that's why it's moral hazard. They don't know your actions. Whereas adverse selection would be like an airline trying to figure out if you like flying or don't like flying. That's not an action. They can only see whether or not you purchase the ticket or not. But what the airline cannot see is whether or not you like flying. So the asymmetric information adverse selection is types and the asymmetric information moral hazard is action. So that's the main way we can tell these two apart. Terminology we use for moral hazard and adverse selection. We say we have incomplete information and moral hazard. Again, that's about actions. We have imperfect information in adverse selection. Imperfect meaning we don't know types. The solution for the moral hazard problem is to do some sort of inducement or incentive to get someone to take that safe driving action if you're an insurance company. And if you are in adverse selection, it's signaling. So you try and get the person to tell you whether or not they like flying or not. So when you're approaching a problem, if it's not explicitly stated, this is a moral hazard or this is a adverse selection problem, you can sort of use this table to figure out, well, is it a moral hazard problem? Is this really about actions that are unknown? Or is this an adverse selection problem where I don't know type? So hopefully this clears up those differences. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case.